Hey guys, welcome back to the last video on the predictions for the Dragon Year Incoming 2024. Today we're going to do the last uh, personality or the last Chinese Zodiac and that is going to be the pig or the boar. Now, the pig this year is going to be looking towards a year of unexpected opportunities and these opportunities are going to lead to growth. And they're going to give you the opportunity to explore new paths and ventures. So it's going to look like a very good start to the year for you. But be sure to manage your resources wisely and, and avoid impulsive spending to maintain stability. Because this year is going to be a year of high and lows for you. And that's not just in financial matters. That's also in relationships and in matters of love. So within existing relationships... You may require to have to put in a little bit more effort and you will have to communicate a little bit more to overcome challenges while new relationships have the potential to blossom. So it's essential to foster understanding here. And again, it comes back down to that communication, have empathy, compromise. These are all great things to be doing in the year of the dragon because the dragon kind of complements these things so well. Like dragons are very good with the whole communication, understanding, empathy, compromising and stuff. Um, and in partnerships, if you prioritize your self-care as well as considering the other person, you are going to achieve a lot better than you would if you are just going to be pig ignorant, for example. But, you know, don't. Don't think that it's all going to be really easy or really hard because these things are going to sometimes just go unnoticed. Your top priority should really be just looking out for you right now. Right now, Maintain a balanced lifestyle for yourself, for your work, for your job or for uh, your career, for your loved ones, your relationships and stuff. You need to take time to relax and rejuvenate yourself. You need to avoid burning yourself out because you can overdo it and you will overdo it because that dragon energy is there. It, it's, it's urging you on. It, it's, it's a cheerleader right now. You need to ignore it and take time to rejuvenate, relax, recover. Take part more in family and social connections and, and, uh, and meeting up uh, with family and social gatherings and things. These, these are an important thing this year. They will play an important role in the year ahead and they will cultivate strong bonds with loved ones and, and the people that are participating in your social circles within those social activities. It will bring you joy and fulfillment, so surround yourself with that. Make sure you are around that and putting yourself in those positions where you can take advantage of the opportunity to make memories. It's not going to be an overly big year for love for you. Um, you're more likely going to find a love for yourself or a better understanding of yourself. Um, there could be some love interest, but really you just want to make connections on a friendly level because um, it, it's going to be very hard for you to trust people this year and uh, you are going to want to exercise caution, which is wisely so. Uh, for those already in relationships, the year of the dragon, it's going to require you to be nurturing and understanding because this year is going to be hard. Um, so be patient and communicate openly with your partner. As again, as I say, a lot of this is the same for a lot of signs because that's what the dragon does. This is this is why the year of the dragon is so um, great for communicating openly and taking that opportunity to do so. Prioritize quality time with each other. You need to show your love and support. You need to strengthen the bond between between one another to keep that emotional connection. So don't neglect that this year because it's going to be more essential this year than any other year. This year is mainly about personal growth and those social connections, but you could meet someone. There could be potential for a love interest or romance, and it's not unfavorable. It's not unfavorable at all. But my little piggy friends, you must remember to maintain a healthy balance, especially between your personal lives and your other responsibilities. It's important not to neglect other areas of life, such as your career or your personal growth. You need to ensure overall happiness and fulfillment. fulfillment. Um, and in regards to careers um, and jobs and things, this, this year you can expect a favourable dynamic career outlook because the year is favourable for you as a 
person born in the year of the pig. There's going to be opportunities for you. You're going to have an opportunity to showcase your skill and your talent. You're going to have to work hard, but it will be recognized and rewarded. So for those already established in careers, um, this is going to bring you new challenges. It's going to bring you a chance for growth. It's going to it's going to take the initiative for you to expand and it's going to have to, you know, you're going to have to take what you know and your knowledge and, and what you have already gained through skill and learning experiences. You're going to need to showcase this for those opportunities to present themselves. You need to show off a little bit and show, basically show the workplace what you're capable of and uh, what you bring to the table. But you do have a level of expertise in your field. So, so there is definitely room for uh, doors to open, especially doors for advancement. So um, there is that to look forward to if you are indeed in a career that fits the description like that. But again... It can also go either way because this could also be an ideal time for you to just look for a new job or look for a new venture or launching a new career um, or potentially even expanding the existing the existing existing one. Sorry. So really, you just need to trust your own instinct, take the risk, but make sure it's calculated and the stars are in your favor here. So bold moves and things like this, there's a good chance that they're going to pay off just just don't rush and don't go in too pig-headed, just, or p don't go in with too much pig-headedness. Um, just kind of take it with a pinch of salt and move carefully and step by step, inch by inch, you can, uh, you can seek out and um, be led to great success in that respect. So in, in terms of career, as long as you're maintaining a healthy work-life balance, you should have a relatively good year when it comes to careers, which that will kind of reflect in your whole uh, relationships and love life because you'll have that balance between work and um, and personal relationship. But make sure you are make sure you are um, keeping your eye on that and making sure that you are differentiating between the two and make sure that the new opportunities and the new things that you are embracing and these new hobbies and passions they don't replace those that you've already got and uh, don't neglect those commitments that you already have. Financially this year, you are looking at a favourable outlook in matters of finance and uh, definitely wealth accumulation. Um, but you can also expect opportunities for that finance to grow and become more stable, provided that you approach that uh, finance or your finances with diligence and caution and just put the right put the right things in the right places and make sure you're opening the right doors. Don't put all your eggs in one basket as to say avoid impulsive or you know speculative investments just focus on long term strategies that align with your own personal goals um but not much can go wrong because there is a good financial prospect um it this year for pigs so just remain vigilant and practice wise money management avoid overspending or taking unnecessary debts and uh basically maybe just uh, create a budget and watch your money but you'll be potentially watching it uh, go up. So that would be a good thing. Um, again, can't promise that, uh, but it does look favorable. It is advisable for pig people right now, though, to seek guidance, maybe from financial advisors or professional, but especially if they want to make large investments or they have uh, or, uh, you know, a big strategy in mind. Which leads us on to the health, really, of uh, pig people this year, because you can expect overall good health and vitality. Um, you're likely to experience a year of physical and mental well-being, um, which is great because everything seems to be going your way. So as long as you don't uh, let things get too overwhelming for you or, um, you know, uh, overload you, and you're very much capable of handling that, but just, you know, don't forget to eat, don't forget to sleep, don't forget to take time for yourself. Um, and, uh, and basically look out for number one and you should have a relatively good year this year. And if you'd like to find out how the year is going to work out for you each week for the foreseeable future, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button because we're going to be doing card readings for each Chinese Zodiac every day for the foreseeable future as a weekly card draw to, to see if we can offer some guidance, see if there's any like sort of resonation there or if uh, people uh, can get something from that. And um, basically, 
as of today, this video now, that's when we're going to begin that. So I'm going to be pulling my first card for the rat people tomorrow live. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, don't miss out on that. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Feel free to leave any comments below and I will catch you tomorrow in my first live card draw for the rat people. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day.